Calculating hydronium or hydroxide concentrations in aqueous solutions. In nature, we never find pure water. Okay? There are always substances dissolved in it that influence the concentrations of hydronium and hydroxide ions. The hydronium or hydroxide concentration in a solution can be easily determined. If we know one, we can calculate the other. Because here's our, here's our equation right here. And if we rearrange that for the concentration of the hydronium, well, we just divide 1 times 10 to the minus 14th by the concentration of the hydroxide ion. And if we want to rearrange it for the hydroxide ion, well, same thing, mathematically anyway. You've got the constant up here divided by the concentration of the other guy. Here's an example for you to try. What is the hydroxide concentration of a solution in which the hydronium concentration is 3.4 times 10 to the minus 15th mol molar? Go ahead and work that out and come back when you're ready. Pause the video if necessary and then we'll pull out the answer tab. Okay, here we go. Here's our equation, right? We then divide through by the hydronium concentration because we want to find the hydroxide concentration. We have 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14th divided by 3.4 times 10 to the minus 5th and we get 2.9 times 10 to the minus 10th molar. Please work another example. This time we have the hydronium concentration of a solution in which the hydroxide concentration is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 12th. Find the hydronium. So please work that, uh, pause the video if needed, and when you're ready, come on back. Okay, let's see what we have. We have the ionic constant of water equals the concentration of the hydronium ion and the hydroxide. We're interested in finding the hydronium, so we divide both sides by the hydroxide ion concentration, plug in our numbers, and we get 8.3 times 10 to the minus 3 molarity for the concentration of the hydronium ion. 